Okay, we have a question here today. Find the bearing of A from B. Now the first thing, we know it we're doing bearings today. Just be very careful when you do this, okay? Because a lot of people would be looking at the bearing from A, actually the other way around, okay? But it asks from B, okay? So make sure that we just understand that this here is where that we're going to be looking at our north, okay? And this is where we're calculating the bearing from. We're not calculating it from A to B, it's from B, okay? That's the first thing, because people have made mistakes on this in the past. Now, in order for us to calculate any bearings, we need to know angles, okay? So, as you can see, this person has traveled 45 miles this way, okay, this way being east, and then downwards, they've gone south 10 miles. So what's the bearing? You can see that there is a right angle triangle forming here, okay? So here's your right angle triangle. Now what we can do is we can apply some basic tri trigonometry to figure out what angles are missing. Okay, so in order for us to work out the bearing, we need to figure out exactly what is the bearing. So this is our north, so we always start from the north, okay? And this is the bearing, like here. Okay, this is the bearing. Okay, this bit I'm trying to shade for you there. Now we can see that that's 90 degrees, that is 180 degrees, and that is 270 degrees, okay? So we know that this bearing is 270 degrees plus that tiny bit there, okay? We need to find out what that tiny bit there is. Just so I can make it a little bit more clear, I'm just gonna change the color of that little bit there for you. this bit, okay, this bit here. That's what we're trying to find out because we know the rest, it's 270 degrees. So how do we do it? So in order for us to find that angle, we can do two things. Either we can work out what this angle is up here, and then as you can see, if you remember your rules of angles, there's like an alternate angle going on here, okay? There's parallel lines, this and this, okay? And that is the alternate angle of that, which means they'll be the same. So we can just work out that one, and that's gonna be the same as that. Or if you want to, we can work out this one here, and then we can subtract it from 90, and then we'll find that angle. I think it's easier in this case to do this, okay? And then see that's just an alternate angle and that's what it's gonna be. It's up to you which way you go, but you just need to know how to do trigonometry with this sort of question. So to do trigonometry, what we need to do is label the sides first. So if this is the angle that we're trying to calculate, this is gonna help us get our answer. Then what's the opposite side to that? Opposite side is this one, so we'll call this O, side O, okay? What's the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is the side that's opposite to the right angle and also the longest side. So this is our side H. And that must mean that this is our side A, the side that's adjacent, okay, to the angle. So we've labeled everything. What information do we have? We have information on side O and side A. So O and A. That, if you know your Soccer Toa rule, this is going to be Toa, okay? So tan of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. The opposite 
we've just said that's 10. Okay, so tan of the angle equals opposite, so which is 10, over adjacent, 45. Now what we want to find out is the angle over here. And that's the angle there, but there's a tan in front of it right now. We just want it to say theta, the angle. But we can't just cross this tan out. We need to do an inverse function. We need to put that tan over here and the inverse has to be on the other side. So what's the opposite of tan? Tan inverse. On the calculator, it's tan minus one. There's like a little key that you, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, and then you put this in there, okay? 10 over 45. If we do that, we're gonna get our angle. So let's do it. So to get tan minus one, so here's the tan, but can you see right here, if we press the shift key, we're gonna get tan minus one on the screen, see? So we open up our fraction and we put 10 over 45. Just like we see it here. Press equal sign, it makes 12.52. Yeah, so the angle equals 12.528528 dot dot dot, okay? So basically, the bearing is going to be all of this, which was 270 degrees, plus that angle there. Like we said earlier on, this angle here is an alternate angle of that angle up there. Okay, that Z shape. So that's the same as that. We just worked out that that is 12.528 dot dot dot. Okay, so 12.528 dot dot dot. Okay. On the calculator, let's do that. So here is our answer from earlier. Let's add the 270 degrees to it. And then we'll get our final answer, 282.5. So 282.5 degrees. And we'll just round that to one DP. Okay. And that's how you would calculate the bearing of this question. So there's a lot of steps involved in this one. They do like to ask you in the exam with bearing questions, they do like to ask you to do this sort of thing with trigonometry as well. So don't think that the question is only gonna require one skill from you. It's gonna require many skills from you, okay? And this is a very common one, so make sure you know it. Anyway, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. If you want regular support from me to help you get the grades you want, why not join one of my weekly classes? It's very affordable. Contact me if you want to find out more.